All right, I'm excited about this next headline here. We have Marauders making news again. Marauders is one of the five titles post how this whole Hickman X-Men run, the revitalization of X-Men, that's getting its own title, right? Marauders is going to be led by Kitty Pride, And you know what? If you don't know about this comic book, just Google it. The summary of what's going on here is super exciting. That's not what this part of the show is about. We are talking about Kitty Pride as a character. We have a article on comicbook.com that says Marvel's Marauders proves why Kitty Pride is one of the X-Men's most powerful fighters. And I cannot agree more. I'm a huge Kitty Pride fan. I think she's been underrated for a long time. And you know what? I don't even care, but I think of Ellen Page whenever I think of Kitty Pride, and I'm also a huge Ellen Page fan. So what's up? I like the character. She's got a huge fan base as well. She's got amazing abilities. And like most anybody, if you write it right and well, you can utilize those abilities in an amazing, fantastic way. And this is what they did with her because they're showing exactly what she can do and how she can do it. And they're presenting it in a way that's super entertaining and almost playful. That's right. Yet destructive. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary when you think about it. Let's let's break it down because what we have here is Kitty Pride going up against of armed missionaries, you know, individuals who are doing open fire right at her. She's she's in front. She's taking everybody on just herself. Now, Kitty Pride's power is she's able to become like phase. She can phase through phase, things. Phase, right. right. It's not invisible, it. but she can phase. Yeah. It's like battling a ghost. Yeah. You know, you, she goes through walls. That's typically how she's been utilized in the past and how a lot of people know it, what they think of because of the movie. You know, she runs through walls, you know, saving people. Well, here we see why she is a dangerous fighter because walking up to gunfire, well, that those bullets are going to go right through you. And that's what happens here. We start off this page with her just having literal bullets just fly through her as if she was, I don't know, Wolverine and didn't care about it. So like you mentioned, she's phasing through these bullets as she's approaching the gunman. All right. She gives him this freaking roundhouse, grabs his gun, pistol whips him with his own freaking weapon. All right. And asks him, I'm sure you're using like basically rubber bullets, not real bullets on these civilians. Right. Let's find out and turns the gun at his leg or knee. Dude, she caps his knee and she's like, oh, guess not. Yeah, she pulls some kind of mobster <laughs> move and shoots this guy's kneecap out. Kitty Pride, open fire, doesn't give a crap. She's going to like mess you up. You don't want to mess with this, this mutant. And then she does something that's just incredible. She takes that gun. If you think bullets hurt, imagine what a gun would feel like. Describe this panel, Jeff. So she's not done. There are more to take out. So she has this gun in her arms and she's just walking as these people are just firing through her and she phases this rifle into two different people's legs. Their like upper thigh. Yeah, right in their upper thigh. And then just and let's then go. Let's go. Oh. So just to think about that for a second. Somebody basically takes their fist, phases it into your upper leg and then unphases. Like and it's in there. It's like idea that Nightcrawler could get stuck in a wall, like a fear yeah. of like him not being able to phase through all the way. Well, she just phased through and left a gun in your thigh. And it, it's like just, just, it's so destructive and grotesque. And she's just like, yep, that, that's, don't, don't mess with me. But she's not done yet because now she looks out, out into the distance and she sees a tank. These are a bunch of pages that they've released. I'm excited. I, I, these are technically spoilers. We probably should have mentioned that early on, but if you haven't figured that out by now, these are all spoilers. She's standing in front of a tank and then she phases into the tank, drops the grenade, and then phases out. She's so dope, dude. She is dope. And she does. it's not like she just has this grenade on her. I mean, this tank's rolling at her no. and it phases her. Phases, like, they rolls into her and she, she's phasing into it. And there's a guy operating this tank. Oh, she's not going to use her own grenade. No, she doesn't no. have live ammunition. I don't need it. I'm just going to take the pin in your grenade, and I'm just going to phase right out of this tank while you're stuck in here. And she's counting down. She goes three, two. She's outside now. One, and the guy's still in the tank, and then like goes off. And so I mean, like, how cold blood is that? And like, she's just doing this so nonchalant. Oh, yeah, she knows what she's doing, man, and she's awesome, and I'm so stoked about this comic book. We got Giant Size coming back. 
Like they're going to be releasing a giant size X Men here um, really soon. We got all these X titles. I feel like Hickman brought X Men back. Everyone's paying attention right now, and this book has got so many people's eyes on it. And I think Kitty Pride's a big part of it. So this was a good move on Marvel to showcase some of her just awesome abilities and just how powerful of a just mutant she is, especially to those who are like, oh, Kitty Pride's leading this. And this is going to be like the main, like one of the main pushes for this series. Well, yeah, she just got my book. She definitely turned it up a notch of just coolness factor and um, just displaying exactly what she can do. And really with Hickman's new, I don't know, world or or of, of what he's building with x-men every book has the potential to be a hot book because anybody can come back to life now that's right so you're gonna see faces you probably haven't seen in a long time omega level mutants are being resurrected this is a great reason to have that key collector app and i'm not just saying that because it's a it's somehow related to the show it really is a good way to stay notified especially if you're not buying every title every wednesday that's right. Keeps you up on like the larger aspect of like what's happening in comics. There's a lot of comic books. And if you use the code Tom 101, you get a free week subscription. It unlocks the key alerts. It unlocks a lot of like speculation categories and rumor categories, things that can kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what's coming up. Um, and it unlocks so much other stuff that it's going to be worth it. You're going to end up paying the two bucks a month or 20 bucks a year for the service because you're going to find one comic book that's going to make your collection awesome.